And guys, we are back with Julie Forrest. Thanks for having me. No problema. Um, for everyone that doesn't know, Julie is the lovely lady that rides around the horse every single time our Mustangs score a touchdown at the games. Me and Julie, we have a great relationship. I've been a uh, horse duty boy for the last couple games on Mustang event staff. Ardley, can you tell us a little bit about being the horse duty boy? What um, exactly do you do? Well, basically, I'm a baller. Uh, I Other ride than? I ride around in a golf cart and just have the best time of my life. In the unfortunate happening that Prince, my boy Prince, that's the horse, um, decides to go to the washroom on the track. It's his job to clean uh, somebody, it up. Somebody, uh, somebody in the golf cart has to clean it up. He's never had to. So I, that person has never had to, so it's not a big deal. He's begged and pleaded me to make sure that he does it before we get to the track. Yeah, whoever, whoever he is, um, I'm sure he's very thankful. I'm sure he's very thankful. So, Julie, we kind of wanted to start with how long you've been doing this, because I know you've been there for as long as I've been at Western. You know, you're a very recognizable figure for all of us here. How long have you been riding the Mustang? I'm going to say, I'm thinking it was about seven or eight years, nice. but I did take over when the gentleman that used to jog around the track, um, he had retired or he had gotten sick, um, and then I've taken over for him. So somebody had thought that it was like 10 or 11 years ago. Wow. Um, so, so it's wait, been a while. Time so there was, flies. there was a guy who jogged around the track? Yep. Um, he did for years, I believe. Every time they did a touchdown, he jogged around the track, and I believe he was like 82 when he had finally quit. Wow. wow. So he retired. He officially retired. He, okay. Oh. Yeah. Hey, well, I mean, rest in peace. <laughs> um, so wait, just a quick question on that. Did he have the mast when he would, when he would, the flag? Would he, would like, he run yeah, away? How was the process? He, I think he was just colored in purple. And he just and he jogged. So, a so he would dude. finish one lap, and if they did another one, he pretty much just continually kept going. He was 82 when he finished. Yo, he would have been so fit. He was probably like Lance a fittest 82 year old. Yeah. So wait till he did Armstrong. drugs. I don't. I don't. Lance Armstrong. Oh yeah. Up until then, obviously, right? Um, so Julie, when you're not riding horses around university tracks, what are you up to, girl? What are you up to? Um, I do some animal communicating. I some talk pardon? Animal communicating. Animal communicating. Yeah, I talk to animals telepathically. Wow. wow. And I've talked to animals all around the world. So wait, so the, like, kind of like the dog whisperer, but yes. for other animals? I Jennifer for Love you in, except Julie Forrest. Okay. Wow. Wow. I never, I, to be honest, I'm kind of skeptical. I didn't think that you could actually talk to animals. Julie can. I have a lot of people that are skeptical. Um, I do it for behavioral problems or if, um, they have health issues or people just want to know what their animal's thinking. Yeah. Well, I mean, she did save me on the game. She told my boy Prince, buddy, don't go on the track. Erdley's waiting in the ranks and he does not want to pick up poop. He just so. wants to be a boss and chill I in mean, his golf I mean, I will be an advocate for your, uh, your telepathic abilities. I will be an advocate. Right on, so before the game, is there anything you do kind of psych yourself up, psych Prince up, any preparation, any rituals? No, it's just a point of making sure he's clean and then yeah. getting all the sparkles on him. And sparkles? Yep, we decorate him up, so he usually has a big sparkly W on his sides and I d decorate his mane and his tail so he's nice and flashy. Wow, do you own Prince? Yes, I do. Um, I raised him from a baby, and he's 19 this year. Wow. wow. He's, he's, a, he's a year younger family. than me. He's a year younger than me, then, okay. is what you're saying right oh, now. Me yeah. and Prince could be brothers. You could. <laughs> okay, could. cool. Okay, cool. Now, in all your years of uh, working at Western, what's the craziest thing you and Princey Pooh have ever seen on the track? Anything, anything extraordinary happen? There's always something exciting at every some, eh? game to see. There's... When I first started, actually the first three years, um, I think the first game I ever did for Western, there was five streakers in the first game. Yes, I fantastic. I love streakers. It always it I makes a football game so much more fun, yeah. I think. Yeah, I've streaked a couple times in my life. Uh, <laughs> cops got me three times. They're still trying to get me for the last two, but hey. Wait, were you under 18? I was, uh, yeah, I was under 18. Okay, you're fine I then. Was, I was 16. Everything's a race. Yeah, fair G enough. Give us, one more, give us one more crazy one, just one more crazy. Prince Poo 12 times on the track. No. Prince Poo 17 times on the track. <laughs> Prince Poo. Probably the bar fights. 
because um, I have full view of all the fights, so there's always bar fights or yeah. something going on. Hey. So, well, yeah, let them know that uh, if I'm ever in the crowd, I'll be managing them because that's my yeah. job. Anyways, Julie Forrest, it was great to have you on the couch. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thanks much for being for having here. Me. And uh, tell Prince I say hi. I will. <laughs> <laughs>